Taiwan is stepping up preparations for a spike in COVID-19 cases, and that means quickly increasing hospital capacity. Negative pressure isolation rooms are a key part of effective quarantine in hospital, but they cost 3 to 8 million NT apiece. With bed spaces running out, the race is on to reduce the cost. Now an innovative air conditioning system looks set to do just that. National Qingyi University of Technology and the Ministry of Science and Technology are working together to rise to the challenge of COVID-19. This air conditioning unit is the first to be made with a heat exchange technology that allows it to fill the room with fresh air from outside. It can help hospitals set up new negative pressure isolation rooms rapidly. People who we think have COVID-19 need isolation in a negative pressure room to prevent them from infecting others in the hospital. Even more importantly, we need to protect those who do not have the virus in a positive pressure environment. The new air conditioner uses the pressure differential of water in the air plus energy conversion that allows it to suck in fresh air from outside with the help of fans and water pumps. The in and outflow of air is completely separate. It can create negative or positive pressure and even adjust the room temperature. Most crucially, it cuts the costs of converting a room to negative pressure. Normally, such a project costs millions of NT dollars. We can use it to create negative pressure rooms. If those rooms can be used for quarantine or to isolate suspected patients, it will be very useful for healthcare workers. Taiwan only has 1,100 beds in negative pressure isolation rooms. Less than 400 are currently free. If the epidemic continues to grow, this innovation could be a key to help set up new isolation rooms in time.